skyscrapers are a passion for the French artist savant Gilles Trahim from Cannes sur Mer on the Côte d'Azur. Gilles spends 10 hours every day drawing them for his fantasy town, Ourville, and he's been doing this for the last 20 years. Gilles is autistic and fastidious down to the very last detail. He draws Ourville in all its dimensions and perspectives. He builds up and he tears down. By now, his city has over 12 million inhabitants. But Gilles only knows very few of them, because his system, Ourville, functions like all urban systems, incessantly and without real concern for the individual. Two million people work in the banking neighborhood Futurville alone. But in Gilles' mind, Ourville is not some science fiction city where everybody lives happily. Rather, it's a town on the Mediterranean, in today's France. Gilles even studied history in order to give Ourville an historical background. It was founded in the year 1200 BC by the Phoenicians and has been a university town since 1125. For a long time, it was a city-state. On the 16th of August, 1944, it was occupied by the Nazis. Today, it is Europe's biggest city with its biggest airport. I have always had a passion for airplanes. At the beginning, I only wanted to build an airport with Lego bricks. I was building everything with Lego bricks then. But then I thought that for a big airport, I also needed a big city, one with skyscrapers. I have always been fascinated by skyscrapers. But my room was, of course, too small for a big airport and a big city, at least one made with Lego bricks. Then I thought to myself, why don't you draw one? In that case, I would have much more possibilities. Gilles only spoke his first words when he was three, and he did not say mum or dad, but airplane. He repeated every word twice, airplane, airplane. When he was five, Gilles discovered the existence of prime numbers, and also how to draw in three dimensions. When he was six, it was discovered by chance that Gilles had perfect pitch, and that he could also make the wildest calculations without even thinking. When he was eight, Gilles' parents received the diagnosis. Their child was autistic. One of Gilles' drawings was published later on in the Washington Post, and we really realized how special he was. Gilles had drawn New York, the Empire State Building, the streets of Manhattan, from all perspectives. We had always admired his drawings, but only then did we realize how extraordinary they were, when we saw them published in the Washington Post with some comments.